Beyonce's mother, Mama T, is really making headlines after she surprised Beyonce on her birthday. Now, this is an interesting video you may want to pay attention and also uh, open your ears to also listen to because Mama T did the most, which really got social media talking, of course, uh, that Queen B, as we all call her, very affectionate, uh, you know, very, you know, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm even teary already. Well, we'll get into the details of that very soon. But this is the Trinity Open Axe News. For more news, please do well to like our platform. And of course, don't also forget to like. It's very important uh, that we get ourselves abreast with the latest from the world of art and entertainment. If you don't, uh, you know, subscribe, you're actually going to lose so much. So do well uh, to at least take some few seconds of your time to do subscribe. Let's get the push, uh, you know, here on the platform. Now, Beyonce, uh, we all know that her birthday was celebrated some few days ago, but that particular uh, day, it saw a lot of people expressing various love and affection uh, to the Queen, the likes of Jay-Z and other uh, prolific actors and, of course, uh, Hollywood sensations, not just Hollywood, across uh, you know, the globe celebrated the diva. But one person that many were anticipating to see or to have seen some uh, kind of, uh, you know, birthday present or birthday wish or an extra, uh, you know, birthday wish or anything coming from, uh, you know, her was Mama T. I'm talking about Tina. Uh, Noah also happens to be Beyonce's mother. We did bring you reports about uh, Beyonce's father, uh, Matthew, sending some very emotional, uh, you know, uh, I uh, should say birthday wish to uh, uh, his daughter, uh, Beyonce, on, uh, you know, her special day. Then we also brought you the iconic, uh, you know, sensation on uh, the Renaissance tour where Diana Rose apparently appeared on, uh, you know, Beyonce's Renaissance concert to also show her appreciation so far. And of course, uh, as, a, as a way of showing, uh, you know, a, 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 um, an appreciation to Queen B so far in the music since she graced the Renaissance concert. Now, guess what Mama T has done so far? Well, let's check out this video, which sees Mama T now telling Beyonce how she really used to be very little and singing, I know, like a, a frog. But anyway, she's now uh, the iconic lady that everyone adores. So a video apparently has surfaced on social media, which sees Mama T, uh, you know, trying to reflect on the past uh, between herself and Beyonce, how old, I mean, very young she was, and how, uh, you know, her music career has started so far. So let's pay attention to Mama T and Beyonce. Hey, <laughs> so that's how little Beyonce was and how her music career apparently uh, you know started from now she was very little and you could see uh, the emotions over there uh, you know from Beyonce and of course Tina knows now people on social media really do not find this worthy enough I mean they are saying that this is very cheap and uh, you know not so uh honorary uh from the mother because uh they're trying to compare beyonce's father's tweet or emotional uh you know tweet as compared to what the tina tina apparently i uh, know posted or you know um gave to beyonce now a lot of people are comparing the two i bet they were just now doing some great analysis over there so uh just like you just watched or uh, you know as play not long ago that was tina tina's wish or um as a way or a gesture of telling Beyonce how far she's up, I mean, uh, I mean, come. Uh, that's what she was trying to do. Meanwhile, people also compared Matthew Noah's tweet uh, on Beyonce's birthday to Tina Tina. So let's put you uh, Matthew's tweet on uh, on your screens to see how emotional that was as compared to how emotional uh, Beyonce's mother is. Now, I don't really see the analysis people are doing over this, but hey, social media will always be social media. This is what Matthew apparently wrote during Beyonce. 
uh, his birthday, it says that Beyonce, uh, you came into the world with big dreams, dreams that were larger than life itself. In fact, ever since you were a young child, you knew deep within that the impact you're making, the people you're inspiring, and the music you're creating today was never a matter of chance, but always. Uh, okay, so let me quickly take my time because I know I'm going to get emotional about it. So, um, inspiring and the music you're creating today was never uh, a matter of chance, but always a matter of time. Uh, I've had the pleasure of watching you perform throughout the world tour or the world uh, during the Renaissance tour. On top of watching your incredible talent displayed in full force on stage, I also see each show bringing people together uh, from all creeds, backgrounds, races, ages, and identities. It's an incredible sight uh, witnessing complete strangers talk, dance, laugh, and celebrate together at each show uh, with no judgment, just love. Beyonce, uh, you give the world more than a concert. Um, you have started a movement. Today is your day and dance, love, and celebrate. Dance to the music that is bringing the whole world together. Laugh with the amazing people around you. Celebrate the lives you have touched, the impact you've made, and the amazing person that you are. Happy birthday, my daughter dad so this was the tweet matthew apparently posted on uh, the special day of queen b now people are really comparing matthew's tweet to tina you know knows is you know <laughs> and it's really really serious i mean I, I really don't know what really is happening between social media uh you know and the Knowles family, because it looks like everything that Tina turn, I mean, uh, Tina Knowles will do, uh, there's always, uh, you know, some kind of uh, banter that people always try to uh, fix in. Now we set, we are fighting about uh, whose tweet is really, really, uh, you know, the most important or what's affectionate. I mean, how? I mean, <laughs> it's very, very, uh, you know, silly going on social media. But hey, uh, one also uh, thing that happened during Beyonce's birthday was when uh, Diana Rose also appeared on uh, the Renaissance concert and was really, really, really happy uh, to have seen or met Beyonce. Now, she also was really excited uh, to have seen the legendary uh, you know, Tina, uh, you know, uh, I beg your pardon, Diana uh, Rose. So I'm mentioning Tina because not long ago, uh, Tina passed away. May his rest in peace. But hey, uh, Diana Rose made an appearance on uh, Beyonce's Renaissance concert. And that also got people talking. So then let's quickly watch how it went. That was an emotional, uh, you know, birthday present for us. So then if we're doing the comparison, let's just do it carefully. Which one amongst these three really is very affectionate? Could it be Tina uh, Noels or Matthew Noels or Diana uh, Rose? Well, the ball is in your court. Do uh, cast your vote on our comment section. We'd be glad to know exactly what you think about it. It has been a pleasure. Thanks for watching.